Hello and welcome to Real to Real. All this week, beginning with Palm Sunday, Christians around the world marked Holy Week and the Easter Triduum. On Tuesday, Bishop William Burns celebrated the annual Chrism Mass with the priests of our diocese, during which the priests renewed their vows and Bishop blessed and consecrated the holy oils and chrism used in the sacraments in every parish throughout the year. Carolyn McGrath was there and tells us more. Joined by the priests and deacons of the Diocese of Springfield, Bishop William Burns celebrated the annual Chrism Mass on Tuesday of Holy Week at St. Michael's Cathedral in Springfield. The Mass was also live-streamed at diospringfield.org. The Chrism Mass, which is celebrated in every diocese around the world, is held during Holy Week. During the Mass, the bishop blesses the holy oils and consecrates the holy oil of chrism. The oil of the sick is used in the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. The oil of catechumens is used in the sacrament of baptism for children and adults who take part in RCIA. The holy chrism, which is olive oil mixed with balsam, is used in the sacrament of confirmation, in the baptism of an infant, during the ordination of a priest, and the consecration of a bishop. It is also used in the consecration of a church or the blessing of an altar. We're going to be using the oil of chrism to consecrate the chapel at the new Newman Center at UMass Amherst. These are all sanctifying, setting apart these oil, but oils are also a sign of God's generosity, his lavish love. In his homily, Bishop Byrne thanked lay men and women and the deacons. I'm grateful to the lay men and women for your daily service and support of Christ as his disciples. Next, I wish to offer a special thanks to all the deacons for your daily service as servants of the church. The ministry offered by you in collaboration with your families is essential to the church in these days, and I believe even more so in the days to come. Then he spoke directly to the priests about happiness. But I also asked the question of happiness in the context of the Chrism Mass, because it is a time when we gather to renew ourselves in our priestly ministry and our calling in the context of the blessing of the oils, which are a rich symbol of joy and healing and identity. We acknowledge ourselves as men called by Christ who not only follow him, but are configured to him in a special way. During the Chrism Mass, there was a renewal of priestly vows in which the priests professed their commitment to be even more united to our Lord Jesus. And the congregation all prayed for our priests and prayed for the bishop. The Chrism Mass for me as the bishop is one of the most joyful moments to be surrounded by my brother priests, to be there to receive the renewal of their promises, to receive their prayers and their fellowship. It is a truly magnificent Father Stan Achu was ordained in 2020. Currently, he's at St. John's Seminary in Brighton. He's a member of the formation faculty and is pursuing an advanced degree in sacred scripture at Boston College. He also serves at St. Thomas the Apostle Parish in West Springfield on the weekends. This is my third prison mass now, and it's always nice for me to renew my priestly vows to as long as it's still fresh in my mind. So to always come and say to my bishop, I'm still loyal to you, I'm still united with you in my priesthood. Having that concept of it's not just you in this, it's everyone, your brother priest or bishop, and the lay faithful who are here praying for us, that's a big thing for me. After the Mass, the oils were poured into containers for each priest to take back with him to his parish. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath. And you can view the Chrism Mass on our YouTube page. You can find a link at iobserve.org.